Hi, this is Alec Pasella with this week's Dodge You Know, and I'm sitting in Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Made news this past week when it was announced that this airport finished third from last in a J.D. Powers customer service satisfaction survey. I do a fair bit of traveling, come through this airport about once a month on average, sometimes a little bit more, and that kind of surprised me. So I'm in a little stretch. I'm going to be visiting five airports over the next three days. So I thought I'd do a little Dodge You Know customer service report. Uh, based on my experiences. So this morning, Saturday morning, took me no time to get through TSA pre-check, no line at all. Clean, airport's bright. I'm sitting in this little area that they turned into a little food court uh, over my shoulder. Big time favorite of mine, Chick-fil-A. Right over there, another big time favorite, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, we'll see if my flight leaves on time and I will we'll be reporting from each of the next four airports. So. Let's see what the next airport has in store for Dodge You Know. I'm now at Denver International Airport. Big, modern, but despite heavy volume, you can see behind me, midday on a Saturday afternoon, a lot of people, easy to get around. Good directional display signage, video boards, easy to figure out where you need to go. I'm up on a mezzanine, and over on the other side is an area that almost reminds me of an Apple Store's cross with the Starbucks, with big bars, contemporary seating, a lot of retails, cafes, places to eat, places to sit and get work done, but very modern feel. So, Denver International Airport, pretty good. Next airport, Albuquerque, small, this has a Southwest flair, decor, a little dated, but you know, it's clean. Very easy to get around, but I found this pretty cool observation deck. I'm gonna pan around and show you. This is up on the second floor. Gives you nice vistas of the runways, planes coming and going. Most of the eateries and retail here are regional, local type eateries, but you know, overall, Albuquerque. Like the observation deck though, pretty cool. On to the next one. I'm now in Austin. Decent airport, easy to get to, quick through TSA, kind of a circular layout. I'm going to pan around. You can kind of see behind me. The amenities are on the inside. The gates are all on the outside. A lot of obstacles, for lack of a better term, even though it's a circular layout, pretty easy to get around. A lot of things jutting in the way. Uh, live music, which is good. It's pretty good food scene, which is good. So Austin overall, good. Last stop, Chicago's Midway Airport. In my mind, this airport's kind of a paradox. Much smaller than O'Hare, its sister airport here in the, in the second city. But in a lot of ways, it's big. It's three different concourses. There's area on this side and that side for as far as gates and walkway in the middle. Food scene's just okay. Airport's dated, certainly showing its age. So in my mind, Midway's kind of somewhere around here. So. After spending the last few days here on the road, I would certainly say Cleveland isn't the best of the airports that I visited, but it's certainly far from the worst. So in my mind, Hopkins, you're doing okay. So that is this week's Dodge You Know. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Wonderful week ahead.